it's about as unusual a Canadian winter scene as it gets. But 82-year-old Bob Wilson is seizing this chance to play tennis and shorts in January, fully remembering how different winters used to be here. We were uh, skating on the ponds. We skated literally for months because it got so cold starting in November and it went right through February. And now. Instead, this mid-island city is expecting above-average temperatures to continue through the week. And data reveals it's part of a much larger trend. Scientists at U.S.-based Climate Central, a nonprofit climate change data collector, says Nanaimo tops its list for cities that are losing below zero days each winter. On average, Nanaimo has about 70 days above freezing per winter. What we found is that 18 of those days per year, so that's close to three weeks, are happening because of climate change. That's a bigger signal than anywhere else we're seeing in Canada. And that partly reflects the climate of Nanaimo being um, near freezing, but often having above freezing days just naturally. In other parts of Canada, the deep freeze has set in. Parts of Manitoba are under an extreme cold warning with temperatures feeling like minus 45 with wind chill. But here, cherry blossoms are starting to bloom and trees are beginning to bud. Dahls says those are all symptoms of warmer days and climate change confusing nature's routine. The region is seeing many, many more days above freezing than it otherwise would have. And that plays out in all kinds of ways. This city has yet to see its first snowfall of this past fall or winter. And combined with the loss of below zero days, there's concern what that will mean for the region's snowpack that Nanaimo relies on for its summer drinking water. This has a lot of implications for the health of trees and forests and drought and fire risk in the region. Though winter is far from over, Climate Central says weather data from the last 10 years led to their findings. And this winter is so far continuing that warming trend.